Hi, welcome to our video on adding geography to spreadsheets. Uh, this is a follow-on video from our video uh, from our introduction to spreadsheets video. Uh, for this one, we're focusing on converting our postcode or linking our postcode to an actual geography point. And the reason I want to do this is so that I can use it for mapping purposes. So currently, my postcode field is a decimal and I need to change this to be geography. To do that, I'm going to click on the options, change the field type to geography. Now you'll notice this little pop-up message that's just telling me I have to change it to a text field first, but Yellowfin will do this automatically for you if you click this button. Now I have to select the GeoPack. Now Yellowfin is shipped with a number of GeoPacks, um, or they're available on our Yellowfin marketplace. I'm going to select the Australian postcode pack that I already have installed. The next step is to choose which field I'm linking to that geo pack. So this is going to be linked to the postcode. There are also options for state and LGA. Now, what you're seeing here is a preview of matching them up. All you have to focus on is to make sure that the formats are right. So we've got four numbers making up our postcode. There are also options here for linking uh, for hierarchies and fields, but in this example, we're just going to have none. Now you'll notice at the bottom that this has changed to a little geography point. Okay, we're now ready to move to the finish stage and create a report and chart. Now in the report builder, um, I can select the fields to display. So you'll notice my postcode field is actually a folder and there's a lot more fields in here. Now this is census information. This does depend on the geo pack that you've installed. This particular one has G uh, census data with it. I'm going to drag in my geographic point and I'm just going to drag in the number of incidents. I'll also drag in population just so we can see some census data. Alright, now I'm ready to build a map, so I'm going to go to my chart builder. So I can simply drag in my geographic points. Immediately AutoChart is recognising what we're needing to do and I'm going to drag in the number of incidents. Uh, you can see from this that the colour formatting isn't great, so we can just edit this to make it more obvious, just using the settings option. Here, rather than using automatic, I might set a range myself. So I might say 0 to 4000. And I'm going to change the colour scheme as well. Okay, so now it's a lot more meaningful to me. I can really see where those high numbers are. Um, one of the great things about geography is that we can look at it in different ways. So using the geography field, I can actually drop this down and I can swap it to a heat map and Yellowfin will update that. Another option we have is to do a bubble chart. Um, and with the bubble chart, I can add another element into the size. So this bubble chart straight away says to me where I have a high population, I've also got a high incidence of crime. Okay. And that's how you do geography with CSV files. For more information on using CSV files in Yellowfin, check out our YouTube channel.